Welcome back, everyone. You may be in a situation where you actually want to transfer all your data from one iPhone to a newer iPhone, and maybe you're actually trading in your original iPhone. Maybe you're actually going ahead and, you know, you won't even have this iPhone with you anymore. So in order to actually do this, it's actually really easy with iOS 15. So first of all, you want to make sure you're on iOS 15 in order to do this. Then what you want to do once you are updated to iOS 15 officially and all that good stuff, you want to make your way over to your settings application. Now, one thing Apple has done with iOS 15 is given us the ability of actually having a temporary backup on iCloud, and we literally can just use their space on their iCloud servers. And then all we have to do is just when we get the new iPhone, essentially just restore from a backup via iCloud. So we don't even have to have a PC or computer with us, which is really good. So once you're on your settings panel, what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see general right here. So you want to go and click on general. Then what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see transfer or reset iPhone. Now, I don't know why they have these on the same panel. They should be separate, but you want to click on transfer or reset iPhone. Now at the very top, you'll see this new little option. It'll go and say prepare for new iPhone. So what this is going to do is it's going to transfer everything from your from this iPhone to iCloud, and then you can transfer from iCloud to your new iPhone. So we want to go ahead and click get started. It's going to take a few minutes to do this. It says extra iCloud storage. This is awesome. You want to go and click continue, and then it's going to say, hey, you know, it's going to move all your data and all your apps from this to their servers. So it's going to tell you what's not going to sync. So you want to make sure that this specific thing, these you know passwords and everything, you already have stored up. If you don't, then it's not going to sync over. So they do a good job at telling you what's not going to sync over. Now at this point, all you want to do, and these are just your passwords and stuff, which typically I don't think sync over anyway. And, and after a certain amount of time, it's going to go ahead and back up all your stuff to your iCloud servers. You'll get into this prompt. It'll say, you'll be ready for your new iPhone. It says, that's it for now. Your iPhone is using iCloud to secure all your data. And then at this point, all you have to do is go pick up your new iPhone and in that restore panel, and then when you click down, you'll come into this panel and obviously into your settings panel. It says it's 15% complete, you know, but it says some apps aren't completed, what, and it says some apps aren't included, whatever. And then you can go ahead and transfer those apps later on. But this pretty much still secures a majority of your applications. So now what you want to do after this is done 100% being completed, you can go ahead and turn your iPhone in, trade it in, whatever. You don't need this iPhone anymore. So now here's the more important thing. Once you go ahead and grab your new iPhone, this is a screenshot, this isn't actually what it looks like, you're going to go through the initial process in the beginning with. So literally it's just your iPhone, you know, you just go and type in your iCloud email address, all this other stuff. But what's going to happen is you're going to get into this panel where it's going to say apps and data, and it's going to ask you how choose how you want to transfer your apps and data. At this point, all you have to do is restore from iCloud backup. Now, if you still have that iPhone, you can transfer directly from the iPhone. But what you want to do is you want to click restore from iCloud backup. And all you have to do once you click that, you want to choose the backup that you just did. So typically, it's going to be the most recent one unless you just did one again, like a little bit later. So you want to click restore from iCloud backup. And all it's going to do is just going to download that you know backup to your iPhone. And that's literally all you have to do. As long as your new iPhone is on iOS 15, that's pretty much all you have to do. I don't even think it has to be on iOS 15. I think you can still be on iOS 14 because it's just the iCloud backup. So that's pretty much all you have to do. Then at that point, your iPhone will pretty much be identical to what it was before. Like I mentioned though, those two applications or whatever it says here, where it said some apps aren't included, you're going to have to either, you know, re-download those apps or whatever the case is, but a majority of the data is still going to be transferred over to your specific, you know, new iPhone. So that's pretty much it. That's how to do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.